block and a single against Jonathan Diaz and now a test for Pete Alonso in his right hand his first at bat since Tuesday Hit hard but right to the second baseman Wade starts an inning ending double play so Jonathan Diaz gets into a little trouble but pitches out of it a 13 pitch scoreless top of the first well the man on the mound for the Mets is the man they call big drip Tyler McGill is off the injured list for the Mets after biceps tendonitis. One two pitch. Lagares swings and misses. Tyler McGill welcome back. He strikes out the first hitter he faces. And now for the first time the Mets see Shohei Otani. It's under this one off the end of the bat. Marcano waits for it. And Otani flies out. Two up two down for McGill here in the bottom of the first. Anthony Rendon getting ready for his first at bat this month. He had been down with the hip problem. Rendon serves one towards center. Brandon Nimmo's played great in center field this year. And he tracks it down off Rendon's bat. To end a one two three bottom of the first for big drip. Eduardo Escobar is ready to lead off the top of the second inning. Escobar drills one toward the gap in left center. Lagares has to play it on a hop. That's a base hit for Escobar. Let's have their second hit of the game so far. Jeff McNeil comes to the plate now. Ground ball, base hit for McNeil. Escobar turns from second. He's thinking about third. Joe Adele throws it in towards second. And the Mets have runners on the corners. Back to back hits. Start the top of the second. Eduardo Escobar with a base hit. McNeil as well. And now J.D. Davis will have an opportunity. Three and two. That's in there. Strike three called to Davis. Jonathan Diaz put a change up right on the outside corner. Diaz Davis didn't like it, but a big out for Diaz, his first strikeout. Just perfect location, and this is what Diaz does. So here is Guillorme, and he swings at this one. It's a low liner, and that ball's caught by Wade. And no advancement by either runner. So that is out number two. Sinking line drive caught on his knees by Tyler Wade. Now first and third with two outs. It brings up Tomas Nito hitting 400 with runners in scoring position. A well struck ball off the glove of Velasquez and into left field. Escobar scores. McNeil goes to third and normally a very short headed shortstop. Andrew Velasquez couldn't come up with that. As the Mets take a 1-0 lead. And now the base is loaded with two outs for Mark Canna. Career with bases loaded, 315. Canna reaches out down the right field line. That's a base hit. McNeil scores. Nito scores. Nimmo's getting a late stop sign. He'll go back to third. But Mark Canna has a two-run double. And the Mets have put up three here in the top of the second. He's now hitting over 350 with runners in scoring position and two outs. Big hit right there to jump it from 1-0 to 3-0. Walsh, Stassi, and Marsh against Tyler McGill. And the first pitch bounced right by the pitcher, and it rolls right on out to the center fielder, Nemo. The Angels get their first hit of the ball game. Batter now will be Stassi. Swing and a miss, strike three. McGill climbed the ladder, got Stassi to swing underneath. And Tyler McGill has his second strikeout of the night. Runner on first, one out. The batter now will be Brandon Marsh. Marsh sends one to deep right center. Nemo's going to watch it go. Home run. Brandon Marsh and the Angels get two right back here in the bottom of the second. That ball absolutely crushed by Marsh. It's his fifth home run this year. 449 feet to put the Angels on the board in the second. The Angels have a runner at second, the potential tying run, and Anthony Rendon, the next batter. Trying to come through here, but a diving stop by Escobar. Got his feet tangled up, and he still gets the out at first. Are you kidding me? This is unbelievable. Perfect timing of the dive. Slips, comes up, throws on the run, and still hits the perfect long hop. Even wearing the microphone, he's still able to make it all happen out there at third. Nice play, man. Wow. It's a beautiful play. Two outs. Lagares now at third base. Walsh swings and misses. Big out for Tyler McGill. And now Brandon Nimmo back to the top of the Mets order. He walked his last time. Brandon Nimmo with a drive to right center. Joe Adele is back. So is Lagares, And that is gone. Brandon Nimmo has homered here in the top of the fourth. A two-out homer for the Mets. Yeah! Beautiful, beautiful. All four of their runs so far tonight have scored with two outs. The Angels two on, nobody out against McGill. Joe Adele, who blooped a base hit his first time, is the batter. Did you pitch? Swing and a miss, strike three. Adele 
Punched out a good pitch there by McGill. Tyler McGill gets a big first out here in the fourth. It'll be the last out he records. Now David Peterson will try to protect this lead for the Mets. 1-1 one, one pitch. Fastball hit on the ground to second. Guillaume with the flip to Lindor for one. Back to first. In time. Double play. Got the ground ball. Got the double play. Got out of the jam. This matter up will be Frankie Lindor. Lindor, it's a ground ball. Past one angel, but not the other. Tyler Wade makes a tremendous play. It was actually Velasquez over in the shift. What a play by Andrew Velasquez. And you're not kidding, Wayne. This is one of the toughest plays. Everyone's diving for the baseball. As the Mets have runners on the corners here, and one of their best hitters with the runners in scoring position at the plate, Jeff McNeil. Escobar is running. McNeil swings and misses. Escobar steals second. Although Tyler Wade believes maybe that Escobar overslid the bag. There's two outs as McNeil strikes out. Put that oven mitt. Oh. Oh, no. And that's why you are taught nowadays oh, with replay to hold the tag on him. And Wade saw that sliver of a millimeter he comes off for a split second. After review, the call on the field is overturned. The runner is out. Escobar is caught stealing. McNeil strikes out. Two outs now in the top of the fifth. And here comes Shohei Otani. Hit hard and pass Lindor. Base hit for Shohei Otani as Otani has a two out base hit. So now with two outs, the Angels are threatening. They'll have the go ahead run come to the plate. And Jared Walsh. Walsh hits a ground ball towards second. Guillaume has got it flipped to Lindor. And the inning is over. Two runners in scoring position for Brandon Nimmo. Infield in for the Angels. Nimmo bashes it down the third base line. That's a fair ball. Bouncing toward the left field corner. Davis is in to score easily. Nino right behind him. And Brandon Nimmo is standing at second base with a two-run double. He smashed it down the third base line. Anthony Rendon had no chance. J.D. Davis lucky to get out of the way there. Canna will be the batter. Canna with a bouncer against the shift. That's a base hit. Brandon Nimmo heads to the plate. Mark Canna's driven in three. And the Mets lead is 7-2. to Brandon Marsh the batter. Marsh with a home run tonight, also a single, so he's having a good ball game. And that ball's hit well down the right field side. That's out by the short wall, and... That ball is out of here. It's a home run. Second home run tonight. Doesn't know it yet. Now he finally does. Well, that's a homer for Marsh. He's at two in this game. And that's his first career home run against a left-handed pitcher. First two home run game. That's trying to hang on late in Anaheim. Angels threatening in the bottom of the eighth. Brandon Marsh the batter. Brandon Marsh has powered the Angels offense tonight. He's driven in all three of their runs. On the outside corner, strike three call. Rodriguez gets a strikeout Marsh frozen on a fastball one out in the inning it'll be the only out recorded by Rodriguez well, the Mets up by four Adam Adovino will try to protect the lead for the Mets Joe Adele do up ground ball up the middle Guillaume takes it to second off balance throw to first double play Joe Adele it's into a 4-3 inning ending double play and Adam Adovino comes out of the Mets bullpen to strand two. Edwin Diaz is into the game and on the mound for the Mets. Diaz goes to work. First pitch swinging. Matt Duffy is robbed by Jeff McNeil. Jeff McNeil takes away a hit from Matt Duffy for the first out in the bottom of the ninth inning. It's a beautiful play for beautiful. One ball, two strikes. Lagares swings and misses. Strike three. And the Mets have defeated the Los Angeles Angels to start this series in Anaheim.